The last one to use this camera was my wife. Battery's dead. Come on, man. You fall and you break, you got battles to take them, but you figure it out, yeah. You fall and you break, you got changes to make now. Well, it is in the middle of the day, but it's looking pretty dark. Got a rainstorm. On today's episode of Aaron Talks About the Weather, again, that concert last night was pretty good. Um, I was not expecting them to play for three hours. Well, they took a 15 minute break, three hour show. I should have known these prog bands just go on and on and on. I ended up eating all six of those hard boiled eggs and all five pieces of bacon. And then I ate a little bit of that hamburger, like half of it. And I put it in my macros. It was like perfect for the day, but just, it was nice. What am I going to eat now? That's the problem. I have bacon and eggs and beef. I have some like hamburger in there I can cook, but I know I have this tender wine in here. And uh, my wife, I asked her this morning, I was like, how is that steak I made? that I had, she said it was like the best meat she's ever put in her mouth. I was like, but then she said also, and I quote, it would probably been better if you cooked it because I don't sear like you do. Yes, that is true. I sear very good, unless I don't. What am I gonna do? What I really wanna do is I just wanna eat food. I don't wanna have to prepare food, I don't wanna have to cut food. I don't have to deal with any of this, but I'm doing it anyway. I need to, I guess I got, how much does this little piece of tenderloin weigh? Science. Seven ounces. Yeah, I think I'll just take this seven ounce piece of tenderloin. It's not trimmed or anything. This thing likes to focus on my face. Hi. Focus on the meat, please. Which is not a lot. Part of me is like I should just cut it, and cook it, like slice it and just cook it in there really quick. But it just feels like disrespectful to the meat. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna slice that and cook that and cook it with some eggs because I need more. I need more than just that. I need more. Had a guy the other day message me and he said something like, you know, what's the big deal? Like, why do you want to get off this diet? Off this challenge, you know, what, what's... And I was like, well, that's a good question. Cause I keep saying like, I can't wait till this is over. And it's, and it's really not about the beef, butter, bacon, eggs part of it. It's just, it's just the thought process of having the be on a challenge. And you know, the filming every day, like I'm trying to do it like as easy as I possibly can. I'm not planning anything. It's like, dude, we can tell because you just ramble constantly. But that's, I'm just, it's like, it just feels relentless. That being said, you get a routine and I'm just going, just doing it. And this hardly looks like any meat now. It's all right, I'll eat a bunch of eggs with that. But it, that's, I think that's really what was like getting to me. It's like, I just need a break from filming every day. And it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to take time to think about things and to plan what I'm gonna do when I'm doing stuff constantly. I'm actually pretty darn slow. Here's an example of how slow I am. Bacon fat? No, that's not why I'm slow. Bacon fat makes me fat, fast. It unclogs my arteries. So the band, The Beatles, I was telling my wife, The Beatles, that's a stupid name. She's like, yeah, I just realized that it's spelled be Beetle, like the bug is spelled B-E-E. -E. Like, yeah, I was like, and it hit me. Beatles, like a beat. Boots it. I was like, it took me 45 years to realize that Beatles' name was actually genius. I told the guy at work today, who's 10 years older than me, the same story is like, I never realized that either. I'm like, well, I'm not the only slow person. But the reality is none of us really know what we're doing. I was, I actually heard that last night in an audio book on the trip back from Cincinnati. I, the guy said, I realized that I had no idea what I was doing. But I also realized that th these other people had no idea what they were doing. And once he realized that no one knew what they were doing, he was able to have live a life essentially without a, with a curtain pulled up and just, just be bold and not so stressed about stuff. And it was kind of, I thought about that years ago to a little, um, I forget where I, I heard it. I heard it somewhere doing pastoral work and stuff like that. It's like, it's easy to get like stressed out about stuff and like the pressure of work or different 
things they get you like really anxious about it but it was like we're not professionals it's like oh no i'm a professional well the moment you think you're a professional it's the moment that you're probably unteachable and when you're unteachable what's the point got all figured out like why even talk i am not a professional that doesn't mean i don't have any wisdom to share with people doesn't mean i don't have value to share with people it just means that i don't take myself too seriously that i stress myself out too much and it's a, a trap i fall into and another way to actually say that another word for that is humility trying to have humility humility is the definition of humility is right thinking what does that mean it means you got to have the right perspective and the right thinking of everything and for me true humility knows it comes from knowing god what he says about himself and um, knowing ourselves by what god says about us this will probably get me in trouble on the internet ah, now your ears are perking up it's like people were talking about um like pronouns and those types of things and it popped in my head like what are my pronouns which i don't understand pronouns because english but i was like if i want to be identified by anything i want to be known as a dearly loved child of god that's how i would want to think about myself that's how i want other people to think about me that's how i want to perceive the world that i want how i want people to perceive my world is that aaron kilby is a dearly loved child of god and so are you sear these up kind of cooked them oh, yeah it's not a lot of food but i'm gonna also put six eggs in there excuse me son well i was very glad that i was able to get out go to that concert last night get there safely it was not high stress i prepared food in advance i was literally not tempted they had popcorn i was like oh that popcorn smells nice i'm like eh, whatever because i ate the food and i'll tell you right now that bacon and the eggs tasted so good just driving around the road, listening to the tunes, listening to the audio books. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's just the little things in life. Don't forget to salt things. I'm almost out, but it's all right. I subscribed and saved. Not a sponsor. I mean, if this, if this brand wants to sponsor me, I'll take their money. Redmond's also, I'll take your money. Not too good for that. Six eggs seven ounces of tenderloin i'm like literally living like a king literally not just figuratively this will be so good all right i'll see you guys at dinner time what am i gonna eat probably some tenderloin no guilt eating aaron's living like a king i'm not gonna be guilt feel guilty for having good nutritious food i'm just gonna be thankful thankful for what i have scratch that five eggs because i tried to flip flip it out of the pan the whole thing over at once and one whole egg flew out just had to clean that up I'm also gonna add about two tablespoons of butter, just up the fat content and the flavor. And my eggs sounds like an excellent choice. You need to come up with better jokes, you need better jokes. When I panic cook, I always make messes. It's like I'm hungry and I'm panicking because I want to get on to taking a break and eating. Give us a break, Aaron. Just sign off. We want to see dinner. Just sign off, dude. Dude, just sign off. One of my kids just looked at me because I dropped my mic and said, that's your fault. And I said, you're my fault. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. So for di dinner today, I'm gonna eat like a peasant and I got one pound worth of tenderloin and I need to up my fat. Doesn't make any sense. Whoa, salt this up, flip it, use my other hand, salt that up. I'm gonna get this pan really hot, put some beef tallow in it, then I'm almost out. I was buying the Wagyu beef tallow, and then I tried this other beef tallow. Focus! Thank you. And seven pounds of it, and it's about gone. And no, I didn't get fat by eating fat. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna cook these steaks, and then I'm gonna take a half stick of butter, and I'm gonna melt this, then try to dip my steak in it. I mean try, I mean I'll just do. There's no try, there's just do. The problem is melting butter shalt not happen in microwave without catastrophe 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 it's much that squeaky cabinet we're sister sheree sauce i'm gonna sear these steaks hot and fast and again i don't care if they're mostly raw oh, that's a kid screaming 
I mean, the pe people said, sent me a message saying, let your kids scream. We want to, we want to hear them scream. We want to hear them make noise in the background. We want to hear them be crazy. Pass. <laughs> if I put this in the microwave, can I do it like defrost or? I have a plate in there. You can put it in, in half a stick. Yeah. 25 seconds. In the microwave? Yep. Yeah. Because I don't want a regular. Right, well, this, 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 yeah, it does smell terrible. Something's on this burner. Well, this burner was just hot. Okay, it's fine. Okay. It's not burning the wood. Well, if it is, it's too late now. <laughs> No, it smells like burning eggs from earlier. Burn eggs, no bueno. This is so hot, I need to turn this down. This is gonna catch fire. I'm used to cooking on this. You can't even see me catching things on fire. Cooking on this burner, but my wife had it hot, so, and was using it, so I'll use this one. So obviously it's all my wife's fault. This is how sketchy I am, or innovative. I just turned the burner on with a little container with uh, butter in it to warm it up and then I put some smoked salt in it. And if it explodes, I guess I'll clean it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, don't you know? That looks good. I got a little, uh, I got an email today from somebody. I'm not gonna tell you who. They want me to come on their channel and chat about the carnivore diet and my health journey. I'm like, anything that I could do to help people get a hold of their health or take a charge of the health, I'm all for. If anyone is willing to listen, I'll tell them my story. And I was thinking earlier today, it's like, it'd be nice. It's like, my goal is to try to get anyone to take a step. Just get up, take a step, take a step. Because if I can get people to take a step and they start getting some momentum, I couldn't even stop them if I wanted to. There's no stopping you once you get going. What will happen is you'll be like, take that step of faith, you'll start running at something. You'll find all the motivation and desire you need because you're doing it. And then people like me are irrelevant in your life. You don't even need me. Well, that butter melted nicely. Ow, that's burning my hand nicely. All right. Smoked out the house. Sit back and enjoy the sounds of sizzling meats. If this does not make you hungry, then I don't even know who you are. Aaron in the hood is always hard. You guys ready for dinner? Mom, are you ready? This is pretty much done. No matter how much I tell myself I don't mind it being almost raw, I, I do a little bit. This orange, I thought you were talking about an orange. I said, not in my house. I got a knife. Yes. Not the pill and orange. Yes. I did say yesterday that I don't wrestle with murdering people. Like, I don't have that. I'm not tempted by wanting to murder people. And again, as soon as I say that, I was like, dude, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna try the other side of my, I might need a new cutting board because I feel like someone might have cooked, not cooked, someone might have cleaned it with a soap. And I feel like I could taste soap when I ate steak on the last time. It is not worth the risk. Ooh, now this is some nice fond. This is why I use these types of pans. These stainless steel pans. If I had some like beef stock and a little bit of heavy cream, maybe some butter you put in that. Ooh, a nice little pan sauce. Ooh wee! That can grow hair on your chest. I don't care who you are. That's a recipe for the ladies. Yep, throw that on the floor. That was my fault too. All right, this should give me time to rest. Let's take a picture of that. Put this over in the corner and pretend that it's not recording. See what they think, or what they do. They'll probably just know that it's recording. I'm not switching. Ooh, mail. It says current resident. Is it a little? Yeah. How much do you want to bet it's like the FOP? What's the FOP? It's a fun fraternal order of police. Please donate to us. Man, I was hoping for a handwritten life story again. I got excited. What does that mean? What? Why can't I look short? Never mind. Jehovah's Witnesses. Is it? Yes. Good. I look at the penguin spot sliding down the hill. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it's recording. The things. Uh, no, the mic's still on. Hey, no, we, we don't chant. It's like witchcraft. Remember, one of the major rules in the Kilby House. All right, let's ask the blessing since we all made it here together. And this table's crooked. Perfect time. That's the best. 
Yeah, that's quite a turn. Okay. All right, let's pray. Lord, thank you for my family. Just another good day. Thank you for providing this good food for us, nutritious food, and this time we have together. Bless this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Did someone make a fart noise when I was praying? No, it was you. I didn't get so it. Some of the no, hold on a second. Sorry. Can we stop? Yes. Because did did you make that noise while we were praying? It was originally. But I know. You're getting involved in something. You got it. You got a discipline for this yesterday. Do you remember, Rachel? Did you make that noise? Okay. Well, I have it on camera. So Kilby's are truth tellers. When we when we pray, again, Levi, I'm talking. When we pray. We take a moment just to focus and thank God for what we have. It is not a chore. It is not a punishment. It's the least we can do. Please stop being your fingernails also. Yes, Dad. Sorry. I, it's like things have to be addressed. Oh, the green chicken? It's up there from the It just has curry powder on it. Oh, okay. The chicken that I cooked. I just throw it into amazing. It's gone. Good. That's a lot of butter. That's on heaven. The heaven tasting meat. Hey, mom, if you use meat right here in the cookie, you can turn it. Use it. If you use the meat, you can turn it into chicken right here. That's where I make a joke about coronary artery, artery disease, but I'm not joking. Well, that's the thing. I just kind of did not handle it. But. What do you like going with? Mm -hmm. I bet your chicken looks from the dollars. I believe I hurt his shoulder. Half the ingredients, there's like no chicken. His shoulder hurts. My shoulder hurts too. Yeah. Earlier, yeah. someone said something. And I said, your mom, right? And then Jacob said, your mom also, at the same time across the house. So I'm a bad influence. I did? What's the he's password? I said, said your mom. mom. Wait, did you say? I think he's a bad influence on that. No, mom. Yeah, come on, try to pull it out. I guess the place I learned it at. Probably. Church. Church. <laughs> That's a little rare inside. But it tastes delicious. I don't know do when it's up. I don't know when it's up saying it. Writing it down. He was like, we're doing, what do you want to bring on a trip from He's like, your, your mom, your dad, your cousin, your brother. <laughs> now, um, I, do you remember the time where I was going to write a call and you said, I was like, what should I write about? You said your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, is it, it was, your mom is usually in the world. You said your mom, your mom found a time bomb. Your mom, your mom found a time bomb. All right. You got what you paid for. What? 